Hey guys, what's up? I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video, I'm going to tell you five points which you'll absolutely love about Canada. I am here at beautiful Niagara Falls and it's a stunning weather here today. So if you have been here in Canada before, let me know if uh, you agree with my points and if you haven't been, let me know when you come over here. We'll start the video right after this short intro. So the first thing that you would love about Canada is of course the Canadians. Canadians are so polite in nature. Sorry is something which is which is very common you would hear over here because they would say sorry if even it's not their mistake. Uh, they're, they're so polite that uh, you know you go to, uh, to a bus early in the morning and they would say good morning. The driver would say good morning. People when leaving the bus they say thank you to the driver. You know, these small small things they make your day when someone is actually coming in front of you they would pass a smile and these small little things do actually make a lot of difference uh, but if you're having a bad day someone smiles at you you will definitely smile back so that is something really really great about Canada apart from that you know uh, we know that there are millions of people coming in from different parts of the world but still they are welcoming in nature they don't feel like uh, you know I don't I haven't met anybody over here who's kind of a revolting in nature that will know I don't totally against immigrants you know uh, screw immigrants nothing like that you will never ever find people over here who are uh, uh, who believe in racism so there's no racism almost no racism over here so Canada the first thing the best thing about Canada is of course the Canadians Right, so the second point that you would love about Canada is uh, the weather and the environment. So you'd say weather really? Yes, the Canadian weather is really awesome. I used to think that you know Canada is all about uh, the cold weather, it's all about the snow. But no, it's definitely not the case. Uh, since I've been here, I've seen two summers, uh, a couple of springs and uh, two falls as well. Believe me, this is the fall season and this is one of the most beautiful time of this year in here in Canada it's really 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 beautiful over here and apart from that uh, the summers are not that hot so uh, yes the winters are harsh if you talk about uh, you know uh, January February March they're quite harsh uh, but there are ways that you can actually you know enjoy that weather uh, you can do some indoor activities in the meanwhile you can also go out and do some snow activities in the, in, over there uh, so no, these all things can definitely be done apart from that the environment of course It's almost like pollution free weather over here. I come from uh, Delhi I know it's like, uh, you know two years ago. It was like a smoke chamber out there But here you would hardly find a place where you would find a pollution any way closer to uh, that thing Apart from the weather, you're gonna love the greenery here as well, which is obviously a very important point why there's uh, almost no pollution here. It is so green, anywhere you go, you'll find the greenery and you miss that in the winters when there's all covered by snow. So the weather and the environment comes at number two. Okay, now let's talk about the third point which is also very important the work-life balance and the working culture I've been working in the IT industry in a proper office setup uh, for almost two years here in Canada and I love it because first because of the Canadians and secondly because of their attitude towards the work there is certainly a thing named as work-life balance here because they give a certain amount of time for their work but then they go for holidays as well, they take leaves as well and nobody stops them to do so. <laughs> Apart from that, uh, you, do, you know that you'll definitely notice it when you're here, when you're working in Canada that uh, the work timings, especially in our offices, it's, uh, for Indians generally, you know, in India it used to start something around 9am, 9.30am but here it's a different thing. Uh, they'll come office, they'll come to office early and they'll leave early. So. Uh, let's say the working hours are let's say eight hours so they'll come around 7 30 in the morning you'll find them uh, 7 30 8 a.m you'll find them in the office and towards the uh, evening let's say 4 p.m 
they will be leaving office and they sleep early and they get up early so this is something which was taught to us right in our childhood which we never actually followed but this is something which is followed over here uh, very practically you'll always find uh, you know your colleagues in canada to be uh, coming to office pretty early and leaving early as well while as there in india it's a totally different culture uh, i definitely noticed because i've been you know i've worked in india for almost 7 8 years so over there i noticed that uh, everyone comes to office like 9 am 9:30 10 am and then they leave office there's no no time when they leave office you know they, we do work uh, uh, like uh, 6 pm 7 pm 8 pm everybody is like uh, in their offices until uh, you know 7 pm or maybe uh, even after that so work life balance is definitely something which is very important and which you'll definitely love about canada Right, talking about the fourth point, you're gonna love the cultural diversity. It is obviously because of their immigrant uh, policy. Uh, the immigration policy allows people to come to Canada and live over here, settle over here, work over here uh, from different parts of the world. So you'll find people from different parts of the world. If you're from India, you'll find a community from uh, northern India, from southern India. If you're from Pakistan, you'll find people from Pakistan. If you're from uh, you know some other country you'll definitely find your community over here you definitely find your food over here and uh, apart from that uh, you know the festivals are also celebrated with the same enthusiasm you'll also find the LGBT community the support for LGBT community is really awesome so if you're someone who actually likes to make friends uh, from uh, different cultures from uh, different countries then definitely Canada is the place to be because here you can find people from all over the world, from all over different cultures, from different religions and whatnot. And the next thing that you're going to love about Canada is the food. Yes, if you're a foodie, you're going to love Canada because here you get food from all over the world. People come here from all over the world, they settle down and of course they bring in their food. So you'll get to have Mexican cuisines, Indian cuisines, um, Thai cuisine, Chinese, uh, Greek, all sorts of cuisines you'll get to have here and of course I'm a lover of Indian food so I'll get to have uh, Indian food here as well. Apart from this, the if you're a non-vegetarian then Canada would be a heaven for you because uh, you'll get to know you know different kinds of uh, uh, meats like uh, beef, pork, probably if you like eating it then you can have it here. If you like chicken of course there are you know, different kinds of uh, meat. I'm not very knowledgeable about it because I'm a vegetarian but yes you'll enjoy a lot of different cuisines a lot of different kind of food here in Canada so food is the next one so thank you all for watching this video if you agree with what I have to say click the thumbs up button and if not click the thumbs down button if you're here in Canada please let me know the points that you love about Canada also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.